Hey guys, John here. We're gonna be installing a throttle enhancer today by Shift Power USA for my 2022 third gen Toyota Tundra. So guys, link for this will be down in the description for you all along with a coupon code down there too. Here's your instruction card right here. It comes with a nice little sticker. This is the little module if you want to use it without the app. You can use it without the app, but I think the app is super intuitive. And then this part right here will plug into our truck. All right, so first step guys, go ahead, leave the door of the Tundra, open your driver's door for about 10 minutes or so. I installed this on on my forerunner over there about a week ago and I've loved this thing ever since so I'm super excited to put it into the Tundra and also compare how this thing reacts versus putting like the truck in the sport mode. So on the Tundra down here it actually looks like it's a little bit difficult to see but if you just lift this part of the plastic up you can see this part right here. So this is the stock input right up here so just go ahead and kind of push this plastic back. This harness comes off with a little depress right here of this tab. So we're gonna go ahead and unplug this from the gas pedal. So we're gonna go ahead and take note of what this side looks like because we're gonna plug in the opposite side. So this male to female right here, gonna go ahead, plug it in, make sure it snaps into place right there. And then since we took this part right here off of our gas pedal, the kit comes with its replacement. Go ahead, put that up there snap it into place. Now, once all that is plugged in, you're gonna see this red portion right here. This is for our little mode module. We're gonna go ahead and plug that in. Snaps right into place. So then however you want, there's some holes kind of right here too. If you wanna tighten up the harness, I would put some double-sided sticky on this maybe if you want. And there's actually some double-sided tape too right here on the little module thing right here. So honestly, I just tucked all these wires up into here, pushed it kind of back behind the carpet right here on the transmission tunnel. And then instead of using the zip ties that are provided, I just got some more double-sided sticky tape. I put the module box right here and then the actual uh, mode selector right here. I just tucked all the harnessing or all the wires, I should say, up under the carpet and the transmission tunnel, pulled it right out use a double-sided tape and just stuck it right there. And here it is a little bit further away. Super clean, shouldn't be in the way at all because it's a very small little module and it's just super subtle. And go ahead and turn the truck on. Accessory mode, power's right on. So we're gonna go ahead and use the provided Bluetooth passcode. And I already have the app downloaded because like I said, I already put it into my 4Runner. So it'll be interested to see how it has for two Ship Power USA units, but we'll go ahead and add it to the app right now with the vehicle on. All right, so we got Toyota. Go ahead and click next. We're gonna go down to Tundra for this one's capabilities. We got 2022. Boom, so it's off and I can use this manually, right? So now that turns the green, sport if you want, super sport, race. So you can use this normal mode, but you see when it goes to the presets, it's only preset percentages when you touch this. What I like about the app is that in the app, you can control certain percent percentages. So I like that in the Forerunner to fine tune it. I think with the Forerunner right now, I'm in sport like 45 or 48, I need to check. But two with the app, which I'll show you guys, is you can go to a lockout setting over here. So that's cool for protection. So face ID, so it'll lock it out. So that means when the truck is on and I actually depress the actual throttle, the truck won't go forward at all. It's my face. So now we're in valet mode. So if you turn this truck uh, into your valet and you don't want them hot rotting your truck, you could set it all the way down to 15% throttle. So in the Forerunner, when I did that, it only held the Forerunner about 20 miles an hour. And then, and then you could turn up their percentages too. So I think the default is 30 for that if you were to just have valet mode on. So let's go ahead, fire the truck up, and I'll show you guys the modes in actual motion. All right, we'll go ahead and fire it up. Carbon exhaust. I am... Uh, changing out the carbon exhaust, uh, AFE, I'm gonna be putting an AFE exhaust on actually. So going from like a super aggressive exhaust to the AFE exhaust, I saw them at SEMA, I just wanted everything about their product. So that's a video coming. All right, so truck's on, go ahead and get out of there. Yes, I, no, I still need to do my tire pressure sensors, but no check engine light. Everything seems to be good. Let's rev it real quick. Yep. Pedal still works, so let's go ahead and drive it. All right, so first things first, I took the throttle enhancer, turned it all the way off, 
and the truck is in sport mode. So with the actual drive mode right here, I went ahead and put the truck into sport mode. So we're gonna see how sport mode is when I leave my neighborhood. So when I first went to these Tundra events with the new Tundra, the engineers had said that they had already made the throttle pretty good. So they already made the throttle pretty good because they wanted to minimize turbo lag. And honestly, I haven't really had an issue with my truck at all. And I drive it in normal. So I drive my truck in normal. Honestly, this is probably one of the few times that I've actually, like there's a little bit of a death pedal, but one of the first times that I've really put this truck into sport mode. The point of a throttle enhancer is to eliminate that, uh, the kind of dead pedal that you get. It works wonders on the 4Runner. Absolutely love it on the 4Runner. This is the first time I've really put it towards a twin turbo or any sort of turbo application in a truck. So very interested to see how it works with that. This is just full first impressions in this video. All right, so we are in sport mode still. About to pull out onto the road. Little dead pedal at first, put the pedal all the way down. Picks up. So the one thing that I notice with that is when you start to put the pedal down, like, okay, I'm about to put the pedal down. Took a second to register to get up to go. One thing too I wanna do, so I'm stuck in a little bit of traffic trying to get there. Let's just blip the throttle real quick. All right, so we went ahead and turned the truck into normal mode. And for the shift power, we're gonna go ahead and show you guys the lockout feature first. So it's got my face ID. So the truck is off, it idles, okay? So the truck will idle, but if someone tries to steal it, go ahead, put the pedal down. Nothing. <laughs> the truck does not move at all. So if you are in a unsafe, neighborhood or something like that or if you have your truck somewhere if you go ahead and put this into locked mode on your phone when you shut your truck off turn it back on here i'll show you guys go ahead shut the truck off so truck is off right let's go ahead turn it back on truck's firing back up go ahead and put it into drive let's say someone's trying to steal your truck it'll idle still dead pedal. So this thing remembers all of its previous settings, which is very nice. Let's go ahead and show you guys valet mode. So we'll go ahead and unlock it with my face. Go ahead and go into valet mode and we'll go all the way down to 15%. So if you turn your truck into valet, yes, they're not supposed to hot rod it or anything like that out of valet. Typically valets, you don't have to go out onto the road or anything. I mean, obviously use caution with this. You don't want to give it to a valet person if they have to go on the freaking highway for some reason, right? And give them only 15% throttle. For this purpose, we're down to 15% throttle. I'm going to go ahead and just mash it, right? There's a turn up there. I don't really want to mash a new Tundra's throttle because this thing's got some giddy up, but we're going to go ahead and mash it. <laughs> that is floored, right? All right. Coming up again, go ahead and mash it. <laughs> a, a valet person that gets that, they're gonna be like, what the frick is going on? This truck sucks. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, so that is valet mode. And that is also the lockout feature. Two very cool features by Shift Power USA, which I really, really like. And again, the module, is super small, which I really like too. It interprets the throttle, so you guys don't have to worry about it overriding stuff for warranty issues or anything like that, because it should just, you know, if you have issues with the vehicle, should be able to take it out. It doesn't write anything onto the ECU, plug the normal one back in and just go from there. And also too, I saw some comments in the forerunners, so I'm still in valet mode, but this also works in reverse because sometimes it doesn't work in reverse, I guess, with other systems. I didn't know that, but we'll go ahead, put the pedal all the way down and the truck is still in valet mode. So this truck works in both drive and reverse uh, for whatever setting you have it in. And another cool feature too, so we're locked out again. I'm gonna give it all the gas. You could see the original. That's the original throttle response that the truck wants, but the Shift Power USA giving it nothing. Floored it. 
nothing. Not opening up that throttle body at all. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and unlock that, put it back to, uh, well, truck is in its own thing. So let's go ahead and just go to Super Sport, see how the throttle is. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Holy crap. So we'll go ahead, drive around a little bit uh, out of this parking lot at least, and I'm gonna park the truck. Oh, wow, that's nice. So we're gonna blip the thr throttle. That's a bit quicker uh, than when the truck was just in normal sport mode. So this is super sport, 75% enhanced. Go ahead and look at what the Shift Power USA is doing compared to the normal throttle. A little bit more than it. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that is quick. <laughs> Lost the other phone. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> Dang, and that's only 75%, holy smokes. All right, so we're gonna just go ahead and go all the way. So again, I like these different modes. You can really fine tune it to how you want it. So, but we're gonna go all the way race 100. You know, stuff's a little too much for you or you wanna tone down a little bit, not too much crazy throttle response. I like all the percentages. Blip the throttle a couple times. Oh yeah. All right, go ahead and get out of this parking lot. Oh my gosh, immediate, just little bit of throttle. That's obviously way too much, but. Holy crap. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go ahead and set that phone right there. That just gets the truck up and going, holy sh All right, light screen. Still in uh, race mode. Oh my gosh, that's just barely any throttle too. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay, so to get it to that point, when I was in sport mode, just the truck itself, I freaking floored it. Like I had the pedal to the actual floor. That just now, that was about half throttle. Like I felt like I still had half the pedal and, and it wants to go to red line. So I felt like I had about half pedal still left in race mode 100%. So again, this thing doesn't give you all the power, right? Like it, it's not a, uh, or this thing does give you all the power. It just doesn't give you extra horsepower so it, it doesn't unlock the engine more change fueling change timing all that other bs it doesn't tune the engine at all it just says hey here's all the power right now we're manipulating the throttle with how quick it opens so on this turbocharged motor i mean it, it wants to shift down pretty good and there's no clunking going on at all that's really nice but I, I feel it's 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 more of a difference on the Forerunner than the Tundra because this Tundra already doesn't really have that much turbo lag. It's a very good vehicle like this, and with a 10-speed transmission too. But on something like the Forerunner, it's very apparent that this thing works. On the Tundra, you really have to, I guess, put it into race mode to uh, <laughs> to see that difference because that difference is that difference is stupid, man. That is crazy. All right, turning around real quick again show you guys my foot barely down and it wants to go that's like that's barely down that is crazy crazy so I feel like for this I can tell that there is uh, a, a better throttle response honestly than even the truck sport mode which is nice so I may mess with this a little bit guys and put it down into I don't know, 25% range maybe versus as the forerunner, I'm in the forties to fifties uh, with that. But what I like about the forerunners too, cause I've been driving that for a week as I'm making this video for you guys for the Tundra. What I like about the forerunners is that uh, the pedal is still a little bit sloshy, if that makes sense, but it's not like stock sloshy. Whereas other systems I use like the pedal commander, it, uh, it was very like, like right away. This system with Shift Power USA, it's a bit more 
It's a bit more subtle. You can actually ease into it, which I really like. Okay, so now I put it into dynamic mode, about 25%, and this is, that's pretty nice. So it gets up and goes a little bit, not as much throttle lag. So I definitely like just the simple dynamic mode on this one. Go ahead and come up to a stop sign, a little bit of pedal. Oh yeah, it catches really quick with that little bit of pedal yeah I actually really like 25% right there it revs up a bit slower versus complete race mode but it revs up faster than the Tundra stock sport mode if that makes sense man guys so first impressions this thing it works uh, the valet mode the lockout mode, a very cool feature to have versus other systems that I've used in the past. And right now on the Tundra, I'm enjoying being in dynamic 25%. Whereas again, on the 4Runner, I'm up into about the 50%, 40 to 50%. I can't really remember what the 4Runners is, but I'm, I'm up there more for asking for more throttle response. The Tundra, it's if you want to romp your Tundra out in the desert or some fire lane roads or something like that, race mode 100% with this, if you have some good suspension, Holy crap, that would be fun. Around town, way too much. This truck with the transmission has so much horsepower, so much torque, race 100%, freaking obnoxious. But if you're you know, off-roading your truck and you're wanting to go super fast, you want that crazy throttle response, that's awesome. Or two, on the flip side, if you're rock crawling the truck, I mean, you wouldn't really rock crawl this truck, but if you are, whatever, or you need some uh, meticulous, slow throttle, you could put this thing in the eco mode, which is very cool. You could put it in the eco mode or even valet mode, slow that, slow down that throttle a little bit so you're not like blipping it and trying to potentially hinder the truck if it's a crazy obstacle. So very cool options with this system, guys. If you guys wanna know anything else about it, let me know down in the comment section. I'll do further up reviews of it for you guys if the, if the system goes bad or if it stays freaking awesome like it has been in the Forerunner for the last week. I will let you guys know in future videos. So guys, I'll catch you in the next video. All right, see you later. Oh geez, I just shut it off and that's the fuel economy for that little test. Oh well.